hello and welcome to my channel. I discuss knitting on this channel and what I'm busy working on, what I'm going to be working on and maybe some disasters along the way. I hope that this video is informative. If you like it, press the like and subscribe because there'll be much more of whatever's going on here in the future. Uh, so I want to talk about this jumper that I'm wearing. Let's jump right in. So this jumper that I'm wearing right now is um, one of those that I felt like doing something more than just a plain jumper, pullover, sweater, whatever you want to call it, um, but with a little bit of detail. So I saw this one. It's a free pattern by Drops Design um, or Gone Studio. I don't actually know what they're called, but anyway, Drops Design is the main name. And uh, it has a bit of cabling going on, which is quite nice, but it's quite plain. So if I get up. Um, there's a lot of stockinette going on, quite a lot of that, um, but it's a great pattern to knit because you don't have to think too much, but then there's some interesting cabling going on at the top, which is quite nice. I think that's actually a mistake there. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so the collar, um, if I were to do it again, I'd do a double collar, so you knit twice as much as you need and then fold it in and sew it down. Um, I find that looks a bit neater than what's happening here. So this was a learning curve for me. I used 100% um, acrylic yarn um, for this one. Now, and it's on four and a half millimeter needles. So I don't know, it's a bit loose for my liking, but it also stretched out a heck of a lot. Like it wasn't this loose when I first knitted it. And I've washed it about three times now. So. Um, what is nice though, okay, so pros and cons of acrylic. It's cheap, super, super, super cheap. You can also just chuck it in the wash and it's not going to shrink. I'll do another video on how not to shrink your alpaca. Ah, so much time, <laughs> so much effort. <laughs> Don't throw alpaca in the wash. But this, this is fine. Acrylic, you just chuck it in the wash and it does stretch out quite a bit. So if you are new to uh, uh, knitting and you're not sure and you want to try acrylic, um, go for it. It's super cheap. It's great to practice on, um, but it has a very slouchy feel. Um, it does stretch out a bit, which I quite like. So, Anyways, uh, this whole jumper, uh, let me just show you the, the ribbing here as well. So I was a bit bored and decided to do some cabling on the rib, which I think is quite a nice... Um, addition. That's my own pattern mod, own modification. Um, and that was pretty much all I modified. I did decrease slightly on the sides here, but not too much. That it makes much difference. But uh, yes, I did add some cabling on the two by two rib. So the sleeves are just normal, and the collar is just normal as well. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes. So this whole jumper cost me four pounds. Four pounds. Four pounds. Can't get much better than that. So uh, that's definitely a pro for acrylic. Uh, yeah, super cheap. And you can wash it, which I like. So uh, I do recommend doing some garments in acrylic. I know people hate it, but uh, I don't mind it so much. Uh, it's uh, Because it's so super cheap, you can just buy a lot of it and not worry about making a mistake or... or um, messing up or if you just really have a mass not go you just chuck it <laughs> start again so this is my acrylic jumper i did um about a month ago it took me just under four weeks to make there's some photos on instagram about the process and how i did the um stitch so for this one my stitch holders i usually use um these plastic ones but um I usually use these plastic ones, but for this one, I just used, because um, there were a lot of them going around, um, um, some yarn that I tied into a knot. I don't have any left, but there's a photo of that. It looks quite colorful with all the different colored um, stitch marker yarns. Anyways, okay, so at the moment, I'm busy working on another project. So that's this is my acrylic uh, thing, and I was, uh, project, and I was a bit, feeling a bit more like I wanted to invest in a proper um, piece. Something that 
would cost a bit more money but would then result in a garment that's not just another acrylic one. So I've started a new project. It's the balloon sweater by Petite Knit. I thought I've heard so much about her and her patterns and her knitting and how wonderful her patterns are to knit up and how amazing they fall and drape and I thought oh, I've got to experience that. So I bought um, one of her patterns, it was about four pounds something. Um, super easy to follow, I like the amount of detail she gives. She um, writes it out like a story almost <laughs> and then um, has all the, the details in between which is quite nice. It's the first time I've read a pattern quite like that. Um, and that's because I usually just download free patterns, mostly from Ravel Ravelry and Pinterest or maybe even just follow YouTube videos. So anyways, I bought um, Drops Kid Silk, um, super squishy, very nice. It's the first time I'm knitting with mohair. Again, something that I'm a bit uh, late to the party, but anyway, <laughs> uh, I thought I'd give it a try. So they recommend uh, three and a half mil needles, it's 75% mohair, 25% silk, and then I paired that with Drops Nord, which is um, wool and I want to say alpaca and poly polyamide, polyamide, polyamide. Wow, that's bright. Okay. <laughs> polyamide, polyamide, wool and um, alpaca. It's very um, soft. It doesn't feel scratchy at all, and so the combination very nice this gives it like a fuzz and then together uh, you use four millimeter needles which is what I'm using for the petite knit um, this is it here let me see if I can stand back so it is almost done this is taking much longer than I thought uh, there you can see the balloon sleeves which is quite nice Mm, and the drapey shoulders which is also quite nice so it has I um, don't know if you can see here but it has um, a seam going down the shoulder and yes it is like magic where it just sort of um, falls into place and then the seam coming down sort of develops as you go in the round which is amazing it is quite it is quite amazing so when everyone says how it just falls into place it kind of does <laughs> I was not expecting it to but it kind of does it just sort of splits out and then before you know it you have like this drapey sleeve which is quite something I quite like it um, yeah balloon sleeve now one of them I need to pull one of them out because check this out so we have <laughs> if I pinch them together where they start we have a situation going on here <laughs> Like that, that is gonna bug me. That is one is longer than the other. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to pull them out, but I actually think both are too short, so I'm gonna have to pull both of them out. I did a nice Italian bind off here, which is um, like supposed to be um, uh, a nicer one, and it is. Uh, you can see that it, um, ah, this thing that it kind of disappears and it's almost seamless it's it's sort of invisible it makes it uh just flow over which i like so i'll have to pull that out it does take a long time to do it but i'll have to pull it out i'll have to pull both of them out firstly make them both longer and secondly um make them even like both the same length <laughs> now this is all the yarn i have left now I am on the bottom rib, so I might make it. Mm. But if I'm going to lengthen both the sleeves, I need to be very careful how long I make them. I don't want to make them too much more, maybe like that much more. Um, so here is the bottom rib now. So you can see I've got about that much on. Um, I want to double that. So, <laughs> yarn chicken. <laughs> I'll see how much I have left. But yeah. It's it's a really it's one of those knits where you don't have to think at all once you've done the sleeves. Um, and I did the sleeves. I've put they're they're, they're knitted and they're um, attached. I've weaved in all my ends, 
So it really is done. I just need to finish up the um, the bottom bit now, the one by one row, which I also had to pull out of that disaster because I made the body too short. These things happen, anyways. So I had to pull the body out uh, and knit about this much, then the rib, which I'm now busy with. So maybe I'll get it done this month. This has been going on far too long. Um, I started it about. Hmm, I want to say five weeks ago, four or five weeks ago, um, could have been done in fall, uh, it really could have, because um, I was a, on holiday a little bit still, so I could have done it, but then I had to rip out the bottom, and now I have to rip out the sleeves. Anyway, I'm enjoying the fabric that it's creating, it's really soft and um, a little bit fuzzy, I don't like the feel on my neck. To be honest, it's a bit tight and a bit fluffy on my neck. I'm not sure it's my favorite to knit with mohair. There, I said it. But <laughs> will I knit with it again? Maybe. I just won't knit something as high up on my neck. Um, perhaps something, you know, wider necked. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for joining me. Um, I'll make another video about another jumper that I have to pull out because I want to modify it. And it's part of the process, modifying it. That's the great thing about knitting is you can create anything you like and it can be any length and can fit you perfectly and that's what I love about creating your own clothing and creating anything in general. Uh, if you enjoyed it, remember to like and I'll see you again soon. Bye.